relationship based on your style and based on their style? Who's the one guy that you're like, that guy will, that, I got to be on my A++++ game. I think, I think Regis, you know, I think Regis has a, a, a you know, a tough style and a strong too. So, so yeah. I think Regis would be a tough fight, but I, I would love to fight him, man. Like, I know he said no one calls him out, but, you know, if the opportunity <laughs> presents itself, man, I'll definitely, I'll definitely be game for that. All right, let's 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 stay on that real quick. Let's stay on that real quick because you've been calling out a, a, a gentleman who just moved up to 140, and I'm sure you get asked this left and right. But what uh, happened there? <laughs> he, he took a fight versus a guy, Pedro Campa, who's 34, mm -hmm. one and one. But you've been you've been on his ass. What what happened there with with Delfimo Lopez? Of course, if you guys don't know um, who we're speaking uh, of. Um, you know he, you know I, um, me, man, fuck, <laughs> I feel like a broken record, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but now he um, you know, it's just at the, at this point, I don't bring him up anymore. I mean, it's just you know he. I think it was smart of his team to do to go with the to, uh, Pedro Campa around. I'm not, not disrespecting Pedro Campa, yeah. you know, he's a good fighter, you know. He's not. But, you know, it's just, you know, he he just says, you know, on Twitter that, you know, after he took that fight, he says, oh, no one wanted to fight him. Bro, come on. You know, I think it was just smart of his team, bro, to just do that for him, you know, and then uh, and then come, you know, and then see where, see where he's at, man. See where he's at mentally. Yeah, and it's interesting that you mentioned that because I feel the same way. I, I don't think he would want to um jump right into the deep end right i think they're trying to get their feet wet a little bit um i don't think it would have been a smart move to fight you because you're one of the top guys there it's a dangerous fight for them if you're speaking business wise obviously as a boxing fan we would love to see it but you can't i don't think you blame them but then it gets a little tricky when they're saying those comments right where oh we want to fight all the best and we that's when it gets tricky it's like ah, really yeah. but yeah man bullshitting you know <laughs> trying to make a story i guess yeah but i i do wish it still happens though that that's a great fight for boxing you and teofimo hopefully and you against anybody really jose john cepeda jose ramirez regis progre josh taylor if he sticks around these are all big fights that you know the, the boxing fan wants to see yeah saying and, and i want to fight i want to do it so so we'll see man like i said 15 comes first and after that yeah. we can start Seeing who we're gonna get. Yeah, Arnold, do you take that as a compliment in a sense? I know obviously you, you want the fight, you want those kinds of fights, you want those kinds of big money exposure fights. But I feel female not not picking you. Do you take that as a compliment? Like, hey, he respects the skills. He respects that I'm one of those top guys. He won't mention my name, but hey, he knows that, that there's danger in that kind of fight. Um, uh, not really, man. I don't really care. You know, he. I mean, I don't really think of it like that. You know, I'm. I just don't even really think. You know much of him man it's more his dad you know um but that is what it is man i mean he can think what he wants i, I, I care less hey and i gotta ask you what are your thoughts on uh obviously those those brothers on um kind of duels because we see a lot of that dads sometimes talk more for their you know than the actual fighter um i don't see your dad like talk a whole lot he seems like he's a very calm you know demeanor um what are your thoughts on those kinds of uh, parent son duels? I mean, they're 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 cool, man. You know, like ours is, you know, mine is is dope, you know, because my dad's my trainer, you know, in the gym, you know, oh. and then once we get home, man, it's not the gym doesn't get brought up, you know, and the gym is just like he's my trainer, you know, it's like we'll leave that father, in the, you know, that father son thing, you know, yeah. outside, you know, uh, but but you know, yeah, like other fathers, they try to, you know, they do the talking for their sons, man. You know, sometimes you know the sons are the ones that have to answer for it. It's not them, man. They, they, I think they're just, just living through their sons. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's just, I don't know. My my dad's man, my dad's calm. You know, he's he's he's, he's you know he's you know he's he's. I mean, one day, don't get me wrong, man. My dad's you know something else, you know, but you know he's not gonna go on social. You don't you don't even know how to use Instagram, bro. So so he you know he's you know G, bro. He, he doesn't care. <laughs> 